let's get warm and recharge our batteries and we can go out again and look in a bit. Where is he, Lee? I'll just get a towel. Come on, dry your hair, eh? Oh, come on, babe. I can't bear to think of him out there on his own. All through the night. I don't know what I'd do without him. Be all right. He will be. What if he's not? He will be. What did the police say? They reckon we'd be better off heading home. The police are doing all they can. If somebody's found him or if somebody finds him, they might be trying to call home, so. Which is precisely why Deirdre went back. What is it? George. Any news? Yeah, I've got some news for him. You're a complete and utter... Peter, I think we should heed the police advice and head home. I should never have let him in. How can I go home? How can I? Now's not the time to be pig-headed. Shouldn't you be at work? Carla let me off early. It's Gail's Joe's funeral today. Yeah, I know. Under normal circumstances, I'd have gone, but... Hey, you're back. Look. Ken! Oh, I take it you've not heard anything. No. It was on the news before. They showed a, a little picture of him. It broke my heart. Oh, Liam. I'm uh, going home. Peter, wait for me. What have I done for folks to see my kid on the news, eh? What have I done wrong? I should make us some lunch soon. Don't suppose you're hungry, though. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Shall I stick the telly on? Why? Oh, because he might be on the news again. I'll stick it on. No. Leave it. You shouldn't blame yourself, you know. <gasps> shouldn't I? No. It could have happened to anyone. Well, it could. I mean, kids go missing all the time. Not normal people's kids don't. Not people whose lives aren't a mess, Lee. Where's my car keys? I'm going back to Blackpool. This was a mistake. What have I done with my flaming keys? Oh, it's that nosy neighbour come to have a good go. It's all right, I'll get rid of him. You had me keys. Hiya. Peter! Oh, where have you been? Blackpool, but I didn't like it. Oh. Is Simon. he here? Oh, my. Is he here? Simon, come here. Oh, Simon. Oh, Simon. Come here. Oh. Oh, Simon. Oh, my boy. I was so worried. Why? Because I thought I was never going to see you again. Well, that's silly. I know. But I'm a very silly man. Oh, oh my baby. Oh, Simon. Oh. Oh. It was the animals coming in two by two last year. Apart from the two elephants, we had two camels and two giraffes and it was just an absolutely incredible look who i found simon you're safe oh thank god give him here no i'm never letting him go again oh. never ever you hear that where have you been we've been worried sick don't ask me it was a nightmare 
Why, what happened? I want to know everything. I've been on two trains and a bendy bus. Nightmare, I don't suppose there's any chocolate and milk going. Oh, come me. <laughs> He's obviously had a terrible ordeal. He seems fine. I needed that. So let me get this right. You made your own way back, all the way from Blackpool. I can read a train timetable. How did you find the station? Follow the signs. And where did you buy your ticket from? Automatic machine. All that way? It's 50 miles. But they've got back last night if they hadn't cancelled three trains. But where did you sleep? I tried to sleep in a photo booth, but it wasn't very comfy and it was too cold. Didn't any adults come up and talk to you? You know, ask you why you were walking around on your own? I kept hidden. I was terrified. Anything could have happened. Yeah, Grandad George got a lot to answer for. But he's still an adult. And you had no right to run away from him. Sorry, Dad. There's some terrible people out there. And what you did, that was very, very dangerous. I had to run away. They said they weren't bringing me home and they said... They said what? Said they were going to take me to Berkshire. Ah. No prizes for guessing who this is. George. It's OK, mate. You're safe now. Um, uh, do you want me to go and talk to him? No, I'll go. No, let your dad go, you're too upset. No, I'm just in the right mood for it. Uh, have you heard anything? No. Oh, dear God. Peter, you can't do this. Simon's fine, he's inside. <laughs> now you know what it feels like to be lied to, don't you, George? Now get lost. He never wants to see you again. I know... I know I don't deserve to, but... I just need to see him. Please. Not again. I think we should show a little compassion. Get out, George, before I throw you out. I... I just wanted to see with... with my own eyes. It was OK. And I, I know what I did was wrong. I, I overreacted. But I was genuinely worried. Please. He made his own way home. He must have the homing instincts of a pigeon. I should never have let him out of my sight. You should never have taken him away without Peter and Leanne's consent. No, I know. What's in Berkshire, anyway? Um, oh, head office. We used to live there. Uh, needless to say, I'll be dropping all legal action. I'll start legal action of my own if you ever come anywhere near him again. He belongs here. With you. And hold on. And I am deeply sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Sit myself out. <laughs> <laughs> 